Hey everybody, this is Brett with Summit Auto Reviews and today I have a 2024 Jeep Wrangler. This one has the Sky One Touch Power Top and I'm gonna show you how to take off your side panels off this hard top piece so you can really get the open air feel when you have that soft top back and these panels off. It's actually really easy and this video will be really quick so stay to the end. If you learn anything, remember to like, subscribe and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Let's get right to it. All right, so when I first looked at these uh, side panels here, I thought, boy, I'm gonna have to get a Torx wrench to get this bolt and the bolt over there out. And uh, I went and looked for a Torx wrench and they're Torx 30. And I went to go take them out and they just spin. They don't do anything. I was like, well, what's going on here? So um, I decided to just do the quick disconnects. There's one right here and there's one on this side. And this actually just pops right out you're gonna be amazed at how easy it is. So I'll show you from the outside how it comes out and then we can store it in the bag and it's really, really simple. So now that you have your quick disconnects undone on the inside of the vehicle, all you gotta do is open up this door. I recommend that so you can grab the inside of the side piece and just pull it towards you at the top and you can see it'll lean right out of the vehicle and it, I'm not even touching it and it's still held in place because there's two pegs that hold it into its spot. You just lift it off and uh, you can see those pegs right there. And now that you have your side piece off, you can put it into the bag for the side pieces and then put the bag inside the vehicle and you're ready to enjoy the open air feel of the Sky One Touch Power Soft Top. Okay, here are the instructions that uh, come with the case. And first off, I'm gonna tell you they're wrong uh, because the way this is set up, it, first off, the sticker's upside down. It should be the other way if we're looking at this, uh, how it says we're supposed to be looking at this because that flap is connected actually to this side and not the other side. Um, but basically what you want to do, ignore the instructions, you're going to want to get your clamps lined up with those pieces right there. The long end of the hard top piece right here has to go on this side, which is the long end there. So I'll show you how to do that. And you're going to want to put side two in, the passenger side in first, and then put the flap over it. Okay, so you can see how these pieces kind of fit in there. You gotta put them in upside down. So obviously this is the bottom that, these are the pegs that go into the Wrangler on the sides there. And I have side two, which is the passenger side in there. And you can see those clamps go right nicely into those holders right there. Now you're gonna to wanna to take your side of your case and put it up like so. Get that over it like that so that this felt piece goes over your painted part and now you can put the passenger side or the driver's side in and uh, you'll be all set to zip it up and now you can see i got the driver's side into its spot those clamps line up nicely and you can put your case up like so and then we're gonna zip it. Kinda hard to do with one person, but, and holding the camera. So I apologize. And once you get it going, obviously, it goes pretty easily and nicely, like so. Now you can grab this. This strap can go over the headrests in the back of the vehicle, and uh, you can carry it like that. I'll put it in there and show you how that works. So this is how Jeep recommends to transport the side pieces in the case. They say you should stand it up behind there and you wrap the strap around the headrest like so and then you're supposed to clip it down here into this hook. Uh, but I don't think they figured for the Alpine subwoofer because it's too wide to get it over there and I can't reach the hook over there. So. Um, if you got the subwoofer, you probably can't follow Jeep's instructions perfectly. I'll show you how that looks back here. But yeah, that's how you're supposed to transport it. I'm sure you can lay it flat and uh, it would be just fine like that. 
So this is what it looks like when the side panels are off of your Sky One Touch power top and the power tops all the way back. Obviously, if you had the doors off, you'd get even more of an open air feel, just like a Wrangler uh, with a hard top that you remove, except you have the back glass. That's really the only difference. Uh, visibility is about the same and everything. So let me know what you think of how it looks in the comments, and uh, that's about it. So now that you're ready to put your windows back into your Wrangler, this is my pro tip of the day. You're gonna wanna open up the back doors because these pieces will not go in without the back doors open. So that's my pro tip for the day. Just grab them like you took them out, line up the pegs with the holes, and it'll slide right in there. All you gotta do then is your quick disconnects, just reclamp those, and you'll see that it sucks that window tight up against the hard top piece there. And it really is that easy. Now you're not gonna get wet. You can put those back in in about a minute for both sides and uh, you're all set to go. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video today. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to how to take your hard top off your JL in the upper right, a link to how to take your JL doors off in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest Wrangler videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and uh, thank you so much for checking out the video. Have fun out there with your Sky One Touch Power Soft Top. Thanks again.